13 years later, Darren McCarty, Claude Lemieux, never done a TV show together until now. Off the Record with Michael Landsberg. Brought to you by the Keg Steakhouse and Bar. For great steaks, good friends. See you tonight. The other way to Draper. Draper's hurt. He got leveled by Claude Lemieux, and he is down on the ice. Look at me. You know, this is a hockey game. Look at my face. Now Darren McCarty gets his shots in at Claude Lemieux. Welcome back to old-time hockey. That is hockey history right there, and that's crime, and that's punishment. Darren McCarty, Claude Lemieux, 13 years later, not side-by-side -side at the face-off, but on this set. Have you guys ever done TV together? Never. No. Have I, you guys we actually never met. really talked about this stuff before? Never. You said never met? No, I mean, well, like, no, the first time. So let's, let's, let's get to that in a second. But I, I, first question, how badly did you really want revenge on this guy? Real bad. Like, you know, that happened right in front of me, too, so... And uh, with everything that went on after that, it sort of got itself built up. Claude, I read a quote. You said, I'm not worried. I've heard retaliation for 13 years. Yeah. Were you not a little worried? I was, you know, I was worried about the stuff off the ice. I wasn't worried about anything on the ice, but uh, I was getting death threats and faxes to the uh, front office of the Colorado Avalanche. The league was talking to me. They had a security guy living outside my hotel room in Detroit. So I was concerned with that. On the ice, I had played long enough, had been in enough wars. That and been beaten up a few and times. And been beaten up and uh, more than uh, Hold I on deserve. to that because we've got a lot to talk about. First of all, we'll talk about that later. But right now, let's talk about the news of the day. Tonight, Pittsburgh Penguins, Boston Bruins in Boston. Last week in Pittsburgh, Matt Cook destroyed Mark Savard with a hit to the head that we're looking at right now. First of all, Darren, what's Sean Thornton thinking right now, two hours before the game? He's probably seething a little bit in his stall, <laughs> thinking about it. But he's got to be smart. You know, that's the whole thing. One thing you got to remember with our altercation, we, that was the fourth game of the year. Yeah. It wasn't the first game. So sometimes it builds itself up and it sort of got, it, it went dormant in our situation. So, but they, they're looking for an opportunity. What's Matt thinking right now? Because you've been in Matt Cook's position where you go into the other guys' rink and not only does everyone in the crowd hate you, but their players do too. Well, he's thinking that uh, they're going to come after him. And, uh, you know, if I had to give him advice, I'd say get it over with. And with me, uh, as Darren said, it was a fourth game. My first game back, the, the teams had faced each other right, but twice, but I didn't play. My first game back, really nothing happened. I offer, uh, you know, I offered drapes if he wanted to settle up or get an opportunity or whatever in Denver. Nothing took place. I figured. You know what? Maybe uh, knowing Scotty, maybe he didn't want anything to happen now. Maybe he just wants to wait for you the playoffs. You're talking about Scotty Bowman. Yeah. Scotty Bowman, that is. And I thought maybe there's a strategy. Maybe nothing's going to happen at all. And I wasn't really prepared for what took place. So in, what uh, I'm really Detroit. interested in is you were talking about what's happening off the ice. Colin Campbell has said he's going to be there. Terry Gregson <laughs> says he's going to be there as well. And and somehow they're trying to, I think, you know, flex their muscles to intimidate the players. Does this make any difference at all to anyone on the Boston Bruins? I would think not. You know, you're sticking up for your brother, your teammate. Um, you know, you're not going to do something stupid, but you're going to try to want to settle the score, you know, the way that hockey has been settled over years. It's always been like that. So and you don't uh, care if Colin Campbell's there? No, not at all, because uh, at the end of the day, it's a team sport. You got to stick up for your brothers, for your teammates, and you got to do what's right. And within the the rules of the uh, of the game of hockey. So let me ask you this: within the rules of the game of hockey, that's interesting because the rules of the game of hockey, as applied to that hit, said it was legal. Colin Campbell said, "I can't suspend him. I can't find him because he didn't do anything wrong." Does that change how the Boston Bruins would see it? Well, I, no, <laughs> no, because your guy goes down whether it's a clean hit or not. You know, guys. You'll see guys get destroyed by clean hits and guys going to stick up for each other, but uh, it, it doesn't change it. Change it's going to change it a bit because you wouldn't have avenged his hit if it was a legal hit, right? No, probably would have. You know, I don't not get at that, that moment. You know, it, it, it depends on the whole situation. You can, I don't think that. I think there's two different situations. You want to see what's wrong or what's not what's wrong in the game and the problem they have these days is guys don't have respect for each other. Um, you know, a clean hit or whatever, but there's, you see all guys. There's no way to command respect. In the old days, imagine, you know, Gretzky, best player of all time. How did he survive? Uh, how would he have survived in today's game? Nobody could, you know, nobody could protect him in this game. Right. 
you do something the wrong timing and somebody that's not willing to stand up for himself you're going to get five you're going to get ten you're going to get game you're going to put your team in, in trouble uh, the rules are in place today to really for the top players to be chased around the ice and not, not get the respect they should right we got to go to break and when we return we're going to talk about you know the mat you guys stared at each other right the face off you remember that the opening oh, face off yeah. in detroit that was i think that was my birthday that was the year after right look at him right now you look at him do you remember what was said <laughs> i did all the talk don't tell us what you said I tell can't. us yes you can <laughs> we can beat when we return all right